hello welcome to Ofoy tv thank you for stopping by my channel to watch my videos if you're new to my channel please hit the subscribe button so that you'll be alerted whenever i drop a new video but if you've been coming here and you have never subscribed please hit the subscribe button all you have to do is just sign in whilst you're on youtube with your gmail login information and click on the subscribe that's all thank you so much for being a part of the Wolfway TV family. Guys, today I'm going to talk about does visa actually allow you to enter the United States? Let me rephrase it. Does having an American visa allow you to enter the United States? So I'm going to break it apart, explain the circumstances where this actually will even be a question or where this thing would even apply, okay? So first of all, what is a visa? What is the definition of a visa um, according to you know the US immigration rules? What does a visa mean? So a visa allows a foreign citizen to travel to the United States. So a foreign citizen from abroad, okay? Not a foreign citizen inside the United States, you wouldn't need a visa. But a visa allows a foreign citizen from abroad, abroad is anywhere outside of the United States, abroad to enter, to travel to the United States point of entry in request for admission into the United States. So let me explain that in basic terms. It means that a visa allows a foreign citizen or foreign national who is outside of america coming into america it allows you to come to the point of entry so a point of entry whether you are if you're coming by car or coming by ship uh, or coming by plane wherever you touch down first that you are you know gaining admission to the united states that is your point of entry so that is the place that you're going to request the visa allowed you to be on the plane headed for america to the point of entry and to request for admission into the united states so this is where we get to you know realize that the visa does not allow you to enter the united states but it allows you to travel to the point of entry to request for admission into the United States. So that means that there are certain things that could affect you not getting admitted into the United States. So you can have your visa and be refused admission into the United States or be refused entry into the United States by you, uh, the Department of Homeland Security and uh, Customs and Border Protection officials. So they must allow you to enter the United States. So then you will ask, what are the situation that would actually cause me to, you know, be refused entry to the United States? And that is the part that I'm going to talk about, okay? Of course, I will not be able to discuss the whole, um, you know, um, scenarios which would apply, but I'm just going to talk about a few uh, circumstances where there's a good chance that you're going to be refused entry okay um the first one that i want to talk about is validity of your visa you cannot enter or be admitted into the united states on an expired visa so if after you get your visa it is already expired you cannot come to the united states with it or if you got a visa and you somehow things got in the way and so you couldn't travel on time and your visa is expired you cannot enter the united states it must be valid for you to be uh, admitted into the united states so if you get to the airport and your visa is expired even one day you cannot be allowed uh, be admitted into the united states so you always have to pay attention to the your visa expiration date the moment you get your visa, look at the expiration date to make sure that you are aware of the, uh, the time that you have remaining to enter the United States so that you don't, you know, 
overlook that and have your visa expire okay when i talk about the visa being uh, valid it also means that it shouldn't be unaltered okay when you get your visa it is like a paper printed and then it's they stick it inside your passport so it's like a sticky you know paper you shouldn't attempt to peel it off you shouldn't attempt to do anything to correct anything on your visa whether your name was misspelled there was any errors that you feel that hey this this was a mistake don't take it upon yourself to correct anything the moment you alter your visa the moment you touch anything that you're not supposed to correct or fix anything on your visa when you do that you have rendered the visa invalid when the visa is invalid you cannot be allowed to enter the united states so always be careful don't try to peel that visa sticker from your passport don't try to do anything that will alter the visa okay if you have any problem if there's any uh, uh mistakes in your visa you need to communicate that with the consular session where you attended your interview for them to resolve that problem don't take it upon yourself to fix any problem the other part that i want to talk about if the condition attached to your visa change for example you have obtained a visa a student visa to come to america to study when you rescind your admission basically when you decide to decline your admission after you have your visa for some reason you decide to withdraw your your acceptance of the admission you have a visa but you don't have a school because you have withdrawn your admission if you do that and you get to the point of entry and they find out that you have rescinded your admission or you have withdrawn your acceptance letter from the you know the school then you no longer can have that visa to enter america because you were given the visa on the condition that you have been admitted into a university uh, whether it's a high school or whatever academic study that you have been admitted to that is why you were given the visa or if it was you know vocational training that you were given m visa for it, you were given that visa on that condition so when you no longer meet that requirement when you have rescinded your admission when you no longer are admitted into that institution then definitely you are no longer uh, qualified to have that visa so when you get to the point of entry when this information is uh, uh, found out they are going to uh, refuse you entry because the condition for which you were given the uh, the visa you no longer meet that condition okay or you no longer meet the requirement does that make sense the other scenario that i want to talk about is k1 visa okay one visa is given to uh, a foreign citizen who is engaged and to be married to an american so when you get that visa it is for somebody who is engaged you shouldn't be married so let's say that you went for the interview you have been approved your k-1 visa but let's say that your your fiance joined you in your home country during your interview because people do that sometimes some people travel down to the to their fiance's country to you know support them during the interview um so that they can all travel back to america together well if whilst your fiance is there now you have your visa you decide to get married before you travel to america you are no longer eligible for that visa you have the visa but you are married that visa is for someone who is unmarried engaged to be married 
but here is where you because you got the visa you quickly got married before you travel to america when you get married now you are no longer qualified to use the visa that you have so when you get to your point of entry or when you attempt to enter america and it is discovered that you are now a married person but you're holding a k1 visa you will be refused entry and told to go back to your home country and apply for the correct visa guys know that when you attempt to enter america with the incorrect type of visa they cannot issue you the correct visa because remember in this example that i gave you guys k1 visa and marriage visa they go through sim similar procedure but know that a k1 visa applicant will definitely not have a marriage certificate a married applicant will have a marriage certificate so the screening process and the documentations provided by a married applicant and a k1 applicant are slightly different so when you show up at the point of entry with k1 visa even though you're now married they cannot just you know reverse the uh, situation for you because you're married you are supposed to enter america and get married and then um uh, adjust your status but here you are already married so you'll be refused entry so please those of you who are going through the k1 visa process make sure that you are still meeting the requirement of a k1 visa applicant it says you should be engaged have a fiance you should still be having a fiance when you're entering okay let me talk about marriage visa so in marriage visa you ask like how how is that even going to change so let me give you an example let's say that through the time that you were going through the process you were having marital issues and that is okay a lot of people going through marital issues even through the immigration process because this can be very stressful on any type of relationship okay so let's say before you travel to america you get divorced if you are now divorced then you cannot enter america with that visa because that visa was issued to you on the premises that you are married to this person if the relationship that you had remember you were given the visa benefit based on your relationship with the petitioner if that relationship no longer exists then you don't meet the requirement for that visa so when you get to the point of entry you will be refused entry because you are now a divorced person and you cannot use a marriage uh, a spousal visa whether it's ir1 or cr1 you cannot use it because now you were married uh now you are divorced but you are holding a visa that ties to um the petitioner okay when it comes to married visa again let's say that you are a transferee for uh, a company in america okay let's say that your company transferred you here so you're here on l1 visa okay if you are on l1 visa and you marry uh you marry someone or you bring your spouse from you know outside america to america they also will be on l2 visa so that person your spouse is getting their visa based on your l1 remember they are beneficiary of your l1 visa so if they divorce you let's say that they travel back to your home country they get divorced and they want to come back to america using the l2 visa they will be refused entry because they no longer fulfill the requirement of that visa that they are holding the visa was given to you based on your relationship with the l1 visa holder so if you divorce the person then you're no longer eligible to hold that visa your visa will be voided cancel 
And if you try, if you're outside, if you go and get divorced outside America and you try to come in, your visa will be voided and you'll be told to go back and apply and come in with the correct visa because you're no longer attached to, to that person. So you cannot use the immigration benefits. The same thing goes for a student visa uh, holder. If you're a student here in America, you have your F1 visa and you came with your spouse who is on F2. If both of you separate, you cannot, the F2 visa applicant can no longer use that visa because they are no longer attached to you. So let's say your student, your husband or your wife is a student in America. You have the F2 visa. You went back home. You got, you did the divorce, everything. And now you're coming back in, whether they are aware or they are not. If you get to the point of entry and this is discovered, you will be turned around because you no longer meet the requirement of the visa that you're holding. So guys, make sure that whatever plans that you have, whatever that you do, make sure that you are always fulfilling the requirement of the visa that you're holding. Don't change anything. If you are um, an F1 visa applicant, and I'm talking about the family sponsored visa uh, group. If uh, your parent is an American citizen who filed for you and you are unmarried, but over the age of 21, you are 21 or older. If you get married after getting your visa before you enter America, they will turn you around because you no longer meet the requirement of the visa that you're holding. So guys, always don't be in, um, don't be ignorant about the process that you're going through. If you apply for a visa, please know that the condition, remember the condition or, uh, by which you were given that visa. Remember the requirement of that visa and you must maintain it. Maintain it even after you have re you have received that visa. Maintain that requirement all the way till you enter America. If you don't want to be refused entry to America, make sure that you are meeting the requirement all the way. Don't say that because you have received the visa, it is done. You can do whatever you want. You can behave however you want. You can, you know, if any new information comes up about you and it is reported to the embassy and it is channeled to the uh, Department of Hom Homeland Security, they can refuse you entry even though you have a visa in your hand. Guys, this is something that I wanted to uh, educate you about so that you will be very well informed about the type of visa you have, um, the requirement of that visa, and make sure that you are uh, following the requirement, obeying the rules, um, else you can have the visa but still be refused entry to America. So guys, this is what I wanted to share with you today so that you'll be more informed about the visa that you have um, or the visa that you're about to uh, you know, have in your hands to come to America so that you don't make any silly mistake or you don't you know, have any oops moment um, so that you can safely enter America with no problems. But these are the things that guys, I wanted to share with you today. Guys, if this is your first time here on this channel, please subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. It, it doesn't take a lot to subscribe. Follow me on Facebook, Wofoy TV. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, on TikTok as Ikea Wofoy. Just take Ikea and then you add Wofoy to it. You'll find me on TikTok. But guys, thank you so much. Uh, join my Facebook groups, uh, Greek card dash Greek card lottery dash Africa, Greek card lottery dash Ghana, moving to America slash for free TV, Greek card lottery dash winners. You can join all my groups. If you are a winner, um, just send me proof of your winning and I can add you to my telegram group. But guys, thank you so much for your time. I love you and I'll see you on my next video. Bye bye.